I wanted to make a quick video for some of you who may not have been able to get uh, into the My Open Math uh, program yet. So just to take a quick look at this, what I you can favorite this, of course, and bookmark it. But otherwise, you're just typing in MyOpenMath.com and hitting Enter. And I've got some other stuff on there that automatically goes in because I've been there before. But your first time, once you get this set up, you're just going to be able to go here and save your username and password and go to log in. But the first time, you're going to go down here to register as a new student. And you're going to click on that. And you're going to choose right here a username. And that, you can pick whatever you want. Uh, then you're going to choose your password. And then when you get down here to enter first name and enter last name, please make sure that you put in your uh your official name that would be on the uh, on the roster for me so that I make sure I know who is who and who's doing the assignments. And then as far as the email address, it really doesn't matter what email address you put in there. That's, uh, that's for if you send me a message through my open math and have a question. And then if I respond to you, uh, it'll go to that email address and let you know, hey, you have a response to your, to your question. And then of course, you're gonna click that you're 13 or older. Um, if you want to read those terms of use, you can. I've used this program for several years now. There's not going to be any issues, um, but that's uh, that, you got to click that one. And then down here where it says course ID and enrollment key. Those are the two that you're going to need to be able to sign up for the course. So those are going to be very important for you. Let me show you in case you uh, haven't found it yet. Let me show you on Canvas where those would appear. You're going to see here that it says College Algebra, and then you're going to go down to where it says My Open Math Information. You'll click on that, and it will bring you to this uh, information that I've got here. Uh, notice the link to the MyOpenMath.com, and then our course ID right here, 167408, and then the enrollment key, uh, Drury Monette Math, uh, capitals on those three letters. And then when I get this video done, that's going to be a link to the video right there uh, that will show you how to do that. Um, you can start signing up for our course on Monday, January 9th, and uh, we will go from there, and hopefully this will help you get in there. And So I'm going to get in there, and I'm going to show you guys uh, kind of how to navigate that just a little bit. So let me go back. I've already signed up for the course um, since I'm the teacher, so we'll go back to home. Log in. Once you log in, your course, now mine has several courses, but your course should look like, uh, let's see, this one right here, 2022-23, um, and then College Algebra. So you're going to click on that. Uh, in case that's not there, you also have the option, if you didn't do it when you registered uh, for My Open Math, you can add a new course down here, and you'll see um, I, yeah, mine's different than yours because I'm a teacher, but if you add, add a new course, you can use that, uh, that code, class code, and then the, the key uh, in that spot as well. When we click on this, you're going to see the course policies, the course description, the course learning outcomes. You're going to see all that stuff. Intro to My Open Math, you can click on that if you want, and it'll give you some, uh, some help with how to navigate in that. But really what you're interested in is you're going to go down to Chapter 1. And under Chapter 1, uh, if you want uh, to discuss with other students or with me, you can do a discussion forum. That's not terribly necessary, but if you want to, that's usually for more people who are spread out and they don't really know each other and they might be all over the country or whatever. Um, the textbook link is right here. So they've got Chapter 1, uh, and it links to that PDF textbook. So you don't have to worry about anything except the information if you want to, if you want to go back and look at stuff there. And then uh, each of these sections is going to look pretty similar. You'll actually have the individual section textbook. You'll have the important topics. Um, you'll have a video lesson. That one is not mine. Uh, mine will be on YouTube, but this has video, um, different video parts to it. And uh, you can watch those if you maybe didn't catch mine or didn't understand it the way I taught it. You can go back through here and look at these topics. Uh, there's also going to be a Section 1-1 practice. And you'll notice, uh, or that one is not going to be graded. The practice is not graded. When you go down here to Section 1-1 homework, that's the one that's going to be graded. You'll notice um, you're not 
uh, able to access that. Yeah, I'm going to switch this up because these dates are wrong. But you're not going to be able to access that until um, the day that we go over the lesson. So uh, just make sure that you're aware of that. And uh, at that point, um, it'll open up for you and you'll be, you actually won't even see it to begin with. But once, uh, once we hit noon on uh, Tuesday of our class, then you'll be able to click on this if you want to. And again, mine will look a little bit different, but I'm going to go to student preview because this is kind of what yours will look like. You'll notice the directions and then you'll go to the first question and it gives you uh, some different options there. So um, that should be pretty much it as far as getting into the class and getting started. Uh, I'll talk about that a little bit more uh, in class in person and hopefully this video was helpful for you and, and you can get started and kind of uh, look around a little bit.